barrier. The most important physical barrier is undoubtedly skin, the largest organ of the body. The major physical barrier, skin is having hair follicle that traps microorganisms. So this environment is acidic. So it is not suitable for microbial growth because it is having an acidic pH. So skin is a very tough, impenetrable, water resistant layer. So let me make it more clear. So this is, it is made up of epidermis and dermis. So this epidermis is made up of different types of cells. So corneocytes along with keratinocytes, which is primarily made of keratin protein, very tough forming along with tight junction forms a very tough layer, preventing the entry of microorganisms to the inside. So there are dead cells also lining on the surface that is continuously replaced so that inhibiting the microbial growth on the surface. In the regions where there is no skin, like eyes, there are mechanisms like eyelashes and eyelids that protects the eyes from microorganisms and thus to reach this internal surface. The same is the case with nose. There are nasal hairs along with mucus that drops microorganisms and thus, thus preventing the entry. Then throughout the gastrointestinal tract that is from mouth to this anus there is mucous membrane secreting mucus then respiratory tract in majority of the sites there are cilia so this cilia hair like projections are called cilia along that traps microorganisms along with mucus it acts as a mucociliary clearance that is one of the most important defense mechanisms once the pathogen gets inside through the openings so this mucus secreted by this mucous membrane traps microorganisms. Cilia pushes out this mucus along with microorganisms to the outside and which is often called as mucociliary escalator. That is a healthy mucociliary escalator is very important for good lung health. So it will be expelled out either by means of coughing or sneezing or it is moved down into the stomach where it is destroyed. So along with that, this physical barrier associated physiological responses are there like coughing, sneezing, then diarrhea or vomiting that forcefully expels out these microorganisms from the system. In short, it is very difficult to cross this barrier for microorganisms. That is why we are often getting some infections once we are having a wound as pathogen entry is very easy once the layer of skin is broken, thus bypassing the most effective skin barrier causing infection.